ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another review. I'm Reverser and today's game is United Penguin Kingdom Huddle Up. Well, what is it exactly United Penguin Kingdom? It's a strategy game, so we're back to the roots of strategy. So let's see how it is managing a kingdom of penguins. Let's start with the basics. That means the tutorial. So I already finished the tutorial prior, but I'll do it now in game so you can have a better view of what to expect on the complete on the single player game. Let's do this. We have our friendly penguins. Here we go. to the tutorials. Camera controls, okay. WSAD, okay. Okay, we rotate the cameras. Okay, we're doing good. See the profession menu and see the idle penguins. Yeah, they are doing nothing at this moment, so... Let's go to the profession menu. There's five idle penguins. Okay, here's one. Profession menu. You can move from one idle penguin to another by clicking the idle in the profession menu. Also, you can assign your penguins to different jobs on this menu. Okay. Builder's Hut. Builder's Hut is a place for buildings to stay and wait till construction is planned. Let's place a builder's hunt and assign some penguins to this job. Okay. Let's go to buildings. Let's go to building hut. Where exactly? Oh, there. Okay. So, let's move there. And now they're going to build. Oh, I need to assign workers. Okay. Sign all the all of them. Now we can plan some constructions. When you plan any construction, builders gather the required materials from the warehouses first, and then start the construction. Okay. Warehouse keep materials up to what, fifteen thousand amount. Okay. Let's go to buildings. Let's build a warehouse close from the prior building. Materials still, still have to be delivered here. Okay, the penguins are picking from the other warehouse and dropping at the construction point. Oh, they're already building. Okay. Let's set this as our primary warehouse. Primary warehouse received task rewards. Dismantling refunds, completed trades. From the Trade Center, bonus rewards for the Exploration Center, and help sent by the King. Dismantling buildings. When a building is dismantled, all materials and gold spent on this construction is refunded. Good. 100% refund. Dismantle the previous warehouse. Okay. So let's dismantle. And cache the precious resources. Dismantling building. When a warehouse is dismantled, its store produ products are automatically automatically transported to the primary warehouse. Housing. Child penguins. As you can guess, our lovely penguins need to rest. When the rest part is empty, penguins go home to rest. Let's build some houses for our lovely child penguins. Let's do this. Building house to this fluffy ones. Here we go. Hey, what's this? Housing child penguin. Hey, a seal. If you click on the child penguin, you can see the remaining time to become an adult penguin. 
It takes one year for a child penguin to become an adult. Until then, child penguins stay in, in these houses. Adult and child penguins live in different houses. Let's build some houses for the adult penguins now. Okay, so different houses. A, a log. Lodge, okay. Hey, that seal stole our food. This one here. Come back, Tiff. Okay, let's just wait for the lodge to be constructed. Is it finished? Yes, it is. I put living space. Okay, so. We've built. Oh, I need three logs. Damn seals. Keep stealing our things. And another one here. Okay. We're done with this one. Just wait for them to finish the building. I need to find a way to deal with these seals. They keep stealing our food. Okay. Just need to wait for the last one to be built. The remaining penguins are taking the materials there. There you go. Little one. Housing. Adult penguins. All penguins have place to rest now. If you click on the house, you can see it's parameters by like capacity, mating rate, resting speed and monthly happiness. All penguins are automatically placed in the houses by considering the closest distance to their workspace. So it's a community housing. Mating reproduction. Each house has a reproduction possibility depending on the mating rate. Mating is disabled now. Let's click the egg bottom to allow mating reproduction. Okay, where is it? Oh, okay. Mating is now al is allowed now. You can use the egg bot button to control the reproduction and the speed of your population growth. There won't be any newborns when mating is disallowed. Okay, that makes sense. Science points, let's focus on science. Science hubs produce science points that can be used to unlock new buildings, technologies and improvements. Okay, let's go to Techland now. Let's build a science sub. Where exactly do you want it to be? Okay, it was the right place. Let's just wait for them to build it. Let's check our, our penguins. Might be the kid ones, two kids, and five adults. Okay, I need science sub. I need to assign a, a worker, a penguin worker, to produce technology. Here you go. So I'm producing science now. Science points. We have a science sub, and. Decade science points to unlock new buildings, technologies, and improvements from the science menu. Another way to increase your penguin population is to build a, a newcomer ramp. Newcomer ramp is an entrance to new penguins to join you. Let's use some science points to unlock newcomers ramp from the science menu and then build one. Okay. Newcomers ramp. We have a lot of technology here. Oh, so... We unlock things to evolve our city to a kingdom at some point. Okay, newcomer's ramp. Let's build it close to the sea. And now we wait. And we still have some... Burglars here, stealing our food. We need to deal with them. New penguins can join your settlement with the help of the newcomer ramp. 
you can start or pass the newcomer ramp to allow or disallow newcomers to join your stealth command. Okay, tutorial finished. Let's go for the next one. Okay, second tutorial. Many buildings require energy to be activated. Energy generators provide the required energy to the building within the range. Let's build an en energy generator and activate buildings. Okay. Oh, there's disabled buildings there. Go to the energy menu and build a wind turbine. Good. Do we already have one here? It has this circle range of energy. Oh, these ones are out of range, okay. So that makes sense for the construction. Hmm, there's still one out. When there is any energy requirement buildings, within the interacting area of the energy generator, it automatically activated. When there is any energy shortage, it automatically pauses. Okay. Natural penguins can be hungry too. Let's focus on food production. Trolling dock is a place to catch krill, fish and squid with the help of nets. Okay. Let's make our fishing trolling dock. And now let's wait for it. I need to produce krill as soon as I have the, the fishing dock. Okay. Two workers or just one? Oh, had to. Okay, they're producing krill. So our food needs are assured, so. I still have the seals coming to steal our food. If you look the if you unlock the required in science points, you can catch fish and squid in the trolling dock. There are five food types you can provide for your penguins, and each gives different happiness points to the penguins. Food storage keeps food up to 15,000 amount. Angry penguins eat the best food from the food storage. Let's make a small food storage here. Here you go, little fellas. Now let's make this primary storage point. Primary food storage receive task rewards. Complete trades from the trade center bonus rewards from the exploration center and the help sent by the king. If hungry penguins are in the interaction area of a food storage, the available food they eat in the food storage and get extra happiness points. Otherwise, they use the food storage to eat some food. Okay. Food stand serves food for penguins. When the angry bar is empty, this place can be visited if the penguin is in the interaction area. Let's build a food stand. Okay. Oh, food stand. Where do you want to build? Okay, here. Let's take a look. We have other food storage here. Yep. Let's assign a penguin to this food storage. To the food stand, I mean. Food stand worker takes the best food from the closest food storage. Each visit brings extra happiness options. Penguins are using high-tech coolers that create extra ice for an area. The cooler that creates extra ice 
Eh, yeah, they have a cooler, so. Where do they want the cooler to be? Okay, here. Let me check. build a cooler how's our food hmm. coming up so no worries let's see this cooler in action coolers create tax drives for their interaction area and provides energy to other buildings except the other coolers Penguins do not lose their wealth, their health, when they are in the interaction area of an active cooler. Additionally, coolers give extra happiness to the elves around them. Oh, so that's why they place around houses. It's time to focus on health. Due to the increase of outside temperatures, penguins get sick when out of a building or <coughs> an interaction area or an active cooler. When the health bar is empty, they get sick and search for herbs and medicine. Okay, herb collection. Close to the sea. I wonder where they collect their herbs. penguin working on it oh this ones need to be protected okay so killer whales don't don't steal our food and don't break our buildings of course a sick penguin can recover with the help of two herbs or one medicine pharmacy is a place to keep herbs and medicine up to 2000 amount when the elf bar is empty, they get sick and search for herbs and med or medicine. Uh, let's place a pharmacy. Where exactly? Eh. Okay, close to the shilling tower. The cooler, as they call it. Let's build a pharmacy. I don't think I have water. Or do I? Oh, I do. Okay, I have a pharmacy. Now this will be a second pharmacy and this will be my main one. Let's see penguins go to the closest pharmacy to take herbs or medicine. Let's focus on roads. Let's keep placing some more roads to connect them here. Now yeah, let's keep it like that. When you dismantle road, you get a uh, hundred percent refund of its cost. Keep seals. If you you have an invited guest in the cell to Angry seals visit your food storage to steal food. Ice spear towers attack any thief seal with the range if 
there is any available ice spear. Let's build ice spear towers. That's what I'm wanting and was waiting for. So let's build our first one. I know I need another one somewhere around. Oh. There's one trying its luck, so. Let me build another one. Oh, it's out of energy, so. Let's assign one penguin here. There you go. One here. And I need more towers now. Where are they? Let's hope it protects something after all. Yeah, I have penguins now. What's the range of this? Let's go, penguin. Killer. You should check your calendar to see if a group of seals will attack your settlement in the future. Penguins in the defense towers never leave their workplace to their personal needs. Okay. Killer Royal. Killer Royal is approaching. Let's build a defense tower to attack. Ice cannon tower attack any Killer Royal. If the ranch, if there is any available ice ball. Let's place an ice cannon here. And I'm pretty sure it will need penguins to protect it. Build me that ice cannon tower so, so we can kill the killer whales. Here you go. at 14 so she'll produce and be able to attack whales The killer whale is leaving. I need this one to store as much as possible. Killer whale destroy it, your building. As you see, you need more and better defense towers against killer whales. You should check the calendar to see if a killer whale will attack your settlement in the future. Let's open the defense menu. Okay. Defense menu can see a list of your defense towers and the total number of killer whales and seals that you've killed. Okay, let's go to the next tutorial, which now we use the defense part.
fluffy ones. Okay, we're back. Now, let's go for the tutorial. Decorations. Decorations provide extra happiness points to houses in the area of interaction. Let's build a decoration. Hmm. Build a vase. Where can I place the vase? Here. Come on, my waddling friends. We have a tower to build. A face to build. The residents in the houses that are within the range of the decoration will collect extra happiness points at the end of every month. If you click on a decoration, you can see the list of houses within the range of this decoration. If you click on a house and hover on the decoration section, you can see the list of the decorations that give extra happiness points to that house. Okay, we have three houses there. Fun, children penguins. Let's build a carousel so the children penguin can have fun. A revolving machine with model leopard, leopard cells on which child penguins ride for amusement. Let's make an amusement park. Carousel. Let's place it right here. How children want to have fun, so... Let's check our defense menu. Nothing planned, good. When the fun bar is empty, this place can be visited if the penguin is in the interaction area and there is an available seat. Each visit brings extra happiness points. You can see the total visitor numbers of for all time and the current year if you click on the building. Let's build the ice rink so the penguins can have fun. An enclosed area for ice of ice for skating. Okay, ice rink. Where are we placing it? Okay, ice rink here. Get on some seals. Let's see if I can not build technology and def defense yet. I need to do it to take care of the seals. Adult penguins. When the fun bar is empty, this place can be visited. Okay. Spirituality. Let's build a temple. A place of worship to increase spirituality. Let's go. And we need to take care of those seals. Here we go, we have a temple. Human productivity is the average of happiness and education percentage. Let's build a school for lovely child penguins so they can get some education school education educate the child penguins until they reach 50 percent educational level okay let's go build a school get off little seal no school should penguin get an education at the school until they reach 50% education level after that they look for high education high school to continue their education so let's build an high school probably 
and maybe not now. Treasure area. Please be careful with spending your gold and focus on finding ways to earn more. Let's build a treasury. Keep safe gold up to 15,000. Let's go for a treasury here. Okay, penguins are getting educated. Other treasure is okay. That makes this one the first one. There must be enough space for gold, otherwise, the novelty reputation points will be applied because of the ins insufficient treasury limits. Reputation. Reputation score is the overall evaluation of your settlement. The score depends on your settlement happiness, education, gold, fun, resting, spirituality, meals, decorations coolers and public happiness okay, reputation there are two more sections where you can check your positive and negative temporary reputation points the remaining time and the reason for each applied temporary reputation point can be seen on the list okay Profile menu. Every settlement in the Unlimited Penguin Kingdom has a settlement level. Profile menu shows the ranking of the United Penguin Kingdom. On this menu, you can also see the minimum requirements to reach a higher settlement level or to keep the current settlement level. Higher settlement levels unlock new sections on the science menu. Each evaluation is made at the end of the year and then showed in the annual report with your early performance in detail. The best to keep an eye on the profile menu to reach an higher settlement level or to keep the current level. Badges. Badges are active for a year and if requirements are met at the end of the year, each badge has some requirements and rewards. Earn badges and show in the annual report. Let's open the badge menu. No badges active. Amusement badge, okay. Tour is completed successfully. Please go to the main menu and start a new game to build the best penguin settlement ever. Okay, so I have the requirements here. Now it's blurred by the end of tutorial, but no worries. So guys, we finished the tutorial on the Unlimited Penguin Kingdom, Huddle Hut. Hope you guys enjoy it, and see you on the next video. Have fun, and Waddle Hut.